Hey, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I mainly cover tactical immersive games like Gunner Heat PC. It's been a while, but I'm glad to share and highlight some of the important changes and updates in this recent Gunner Heat PC patch for the month of June. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, make sure to share, and you can always join my Discord for more content and discussion. So first up, this update is mainly focused on improvements to the AI, Skybox, Visuals, and our rework to the Close Air Support System in Gunner Heat PC. And for those who don't know, and a reminder, Gun Heat PC is an objective-based game. It's still a tank game, and tanks don't fight alone, and so combined arm elements is important. Helicopters and CAS also play that important role, especially in a game that focuses on military objectives. The June update is also part of the roadmap under fire support. For those who are unsure, well, at least they're working towards their roadmap. For the East Germans, we are introduced with the Mi-24 Hind gunship with the NVA pilot models in it. Behind is an iconic helicopter for the Warsaw Pact. Not only can they provide close air support, but they can also transport troops. It was pretty awesome to finally see them in life in Gunner Heat PC. And they're also one of my favorite helicopters in terms of its looks. Another helicopter model was added and it's the Kiowa Scout Helicopter, which is used by the US Army as a reconnaissance helicopter. And they'll be able to spot targets, which is quite useful. In terms of the reworking of CAS, they also reworked the search and attack run, and now they have varied loadouts such as rockets and multiple bomb drops. And finally, they have reworked the targeting system to match the most important targets based on the type and where it's marked on the map. So hopefully instead of destroying an APC, they'll target the tank instead. There's also one new mission in this update. An M2 Bradley mission has been added to the Eastern Hills, which features most of the added content from this update. Another important highlight of this update is the rework sky, which includes clouds, stars, and a work in progress dynamic weathering. In one of my playthroughs, it was kind of cloudy with clear skies, and in the middle it started raining. The rain was neat to see, as it's all pretty new to Gunner Heat PC, but hopefully the weather can be a bit more realistic instead of random, but I'm sure this will be added and changed to make it more realistic. And it's nice to see that the environment is being looked upon as it is important to the immersion. Sometimes weathering can play an effect in the battle. We also got another change to the hood, is the compass, and finally it looks a lot more cleaner. You'll notice that when you switch from the commander spot to the gunner, the compass will look a little bit different. Also, you'll get a marker when your commander has spotted an enemy on the compass. There's some visual improvements such as heat simmer for weapons and effects. They also reworked the AI where they can't see further into the trees, which is great and realistic because there's no way where you can't see the enemy but your teammate AI can. So I'm glad that that's been fixed. There are also some several fixes which you can see from the change log. One of them which kind of annoyed me is when your crew says there's obstruction when the enemy is just behind a tall grass and it's read as a solid obstruction. You can read more about the change logs here, but let me know your thoughts on this update on the cast as well as the overall improvements to Gunner EPC. And I think it's important to be patient as this game is still in progress as they slowly work their way up the roadmap. And honestly, having these regular monthly updates is something to appreciate from an early access game. And so that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it will mean a lot to support my channel. And you can always join my discord for more discussion, updates and for community. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed.